Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to another episode of Chats with Orly, and today we'll be chatting about ABGT 250. And for those of you guys who don't know what ABGT is, it stands for Above and Beyond Group Therapy. Hence, this shirt! Ah! But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to be talking about that today, and their 250th radio episode was held in the United States this past September of 2017. And I know you guys are probably wondering, why am I reviewing a festival or a show that happened basically last September? Well, I'm going to be doing a ticket giveaway for Above and Beyond's Common Ground Tour stop in Houston. And so two lucky people are going to be able to get these tickets. So I figured, why not do this ticket giveaway while reviewing ABGT 250? So. Let's get to chatting. This event was so important to me that I traveled from Mexico, because I was doing my study abroad program in Mexico, from Mexico City all the way to Seattle. And so what was really awesome was that when I got there, um, like probably like a day before, um, I actually got to see one of my friends that was in the army. Ah! <laughs> What's up? What's up? I hadn't seen him in about two years. So that was really great. I got to see all my friends who I also hadn't seen since I left to Mexico for my study abroad and that was just such a really warming experience. So shuttles. So ABGT250 provided us with shuttles that would pick us up from the airport, drop us off at the venue, and then pick us up from the venue and then drop us back off into the airport. And so what do I have to say about the shuttle services? So basically it was very informal. The whole thing was sort of informal. You just kind of had these two or three guys with a huge list of names for people that had to go on the shuttle. You had to show your ID, sort of a basic thing. And so, but what I will say is that the people that were managing the shuttle system were really, really, really nice. And that was just so good, you know, just to be welcomed into this amazing adventure and weekend by really nice people. And so the shuttles themselves were clean, uh, they had restrooms, they had air conditioning, and the people there were just all so pumped and excited. We had music playing. It was really, really great. So camping. Uh, let me just tell you guys first, I'm not a camper. That's just not the thing that I'm into. That's not what, that's not how I work. You know what I mean? I was kind of like, oh, okay, I'm going to be camping. Um, my friends and I all pitched in to get two standard camping passes, which were $89 plus taxes. And this is where I'm mad, and this is where I have my first critique. So if you don't have a car, I don't even think you should have had to buy a camping pass. You know what I mean? I don't even think that was necessary because uh, we had the whole road of cars going up to the campsite and then you had all the people like me and my friends dragging their bags through the grass, you know? Uh, and we could have just literally crossed through. Obviously, we're great citizens of the world and so we were like, oh, hi, we have our camping passes. Do you want to scan them? And they're like, bleep, and that's all. But so many people were just going through, so that really annoyed me. So just so you guys know, future reference, if they ever host an Above and Beyond group therapy radio show in, at the Gorge Amphitheater, which I doubt will happen, just so you know, if you don't plan on taking a vehicle, you probably don't have to pay for a camping pass. You can just walk in. It's Julian's phone over here uploads Snapchats. Wait, yeah, so I'm uploading from his phone right now. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to be talking about a uh, kind of a touchy subject, but necessary to talk about because that is what everybody always talks about at music festivals, the restroom situation. So I've been to a plethora of music festivals in my lifetime and I've always been greeted with really gross porta potties and that's just really how it is, you know, like I've, I haven't been to a festival where porta potties have been just, you know, very, very clean. But the porta potties were very, very clean. And the reason why it was porta potties was because I did the standard camping, which is still $89. Ugh, whatever. It was the first festival slash event that I went to that just had like exceptionally clean porta potties. So good on you, citizens of ABGD 250, for doing that. The other one is showers. So I have to say, I have never encountered you know, an event, uh, but then again, I don't really go to camping festivals, so there's also that, but I've never really encountered an event that had a, such a good shower system. Like, I'm talking exceptional. And it was only $3 for like, you know, like a, an actual shower that was clean. So basically, there were these like big, kind of like, 
little RV looking ass things. You know, my first thought when I walked when I walked into the shower area is like, oh shit, like this is gonna be so gross. But no, it actually wasn't. You know, each shower head was, you know, you had your curtain, you know, it was very individual. Um, and then they had a little thing outside where you can sit down and set your stuff in. It was, it was good actually. And honestly, I took two amazing showers because you know, I'm clean. So kudos to you, showers in the camping area. And then I had a little bit of a concern with the water situation. So supposedly they were gonna have, I mean not supposedly, they did. They had uh, refillable water stations, but I found that they would just run out so quickly. And so I remember going to try to get some water and I was like, oh, there's no water. I guess I'm gonna die of thirst. But um, you know, at some points there were some people from the army, I think, you know, coming through and like letting us, like they came through with like these big ass tanks where we could refill our water. But I also think it was very well mitigated by the people that, you know, kept providing water on a daily basis. So that was good. And so now we're going to be talking about the venue. So I had seen a lot of pictures of the gorge uh, prior, right? Cause I was very excited. So I had seen a lot of pictures of the gorge and honestly, like it looked gorgeous. No, I mean, where do I even begin? It was just absolutely beautiful. And I think it was the perfect location to have such a beautiful event like ABGT 250. So, I mean, it was just gorgeous. Um, and what I liked about it, well, obviously it's an amphitheater. So, you know, you have everything kind of facing towards, you know, down and then you have the stage, but behind the stage, you have a huge cliff, the gorge itself. And it's just, just uh, it was just so beautiful, everybody. I, could, I can't explain. It was just so amazingly beautiful. Um, and from what I saw in terms of seating, everything was really well organized. They even had their section for people in wheelchairs, you know, people with disabilities. And that was really, really awesome. I was very happy to see that. And one thing I do have uh, to mention about, you know, the Gorge Amphitheater was their restroom situation. Contrary to, you know, the restroom situation outside the venue in the camping area, I found that the restroom situation in at the Gorge Amphitheater was kind of interesting and kind of uncomfortable because the restrooms were just really, really hidden away as in like a really small corner and you didn't even know where the line started, where the line ended. Everything was just very, very, very crowded and you know, a lot of people like myself were just feeling kind of like, oh my God, like there's so many people here right now. Ah. <laughs> But besides that, the vibes at, the, at this festival were just so amazing. <laughs> That's what they need to focus on. Where, where is it at? Exactly. Ooh, yes. Everybody was just so nice. I can't even. I don't think I've ever been to a festival. Maybe, maybe other than EDC, but. I don't think I've ever been to a festival that has had such amazing vibes and just such a great crowd of people. And I remember um, that we walked in, right? And then they were playing, you know, the openers are playing. And then all of a sudden, live from the Gorge Amphitheater, ABGT 250. And I was like, ah, yeah, did y'all hear the same thing? I just heard it here. And I was just like, guys, we are here. We are freaking here. Oh, it was so good. And then being with your friends, all the vibes were just so great. I do think that Above and Beyond Group Therapy 250 was a really well thought out and planned festival. So to end this, ABGT 250, September 16th and 17th of 2017 was an amazing festival. And if you guys ever want to watch it, just so you know, the whole event is on YouTube. So now we get to the fun part. So you guys know that Above and Beyond, or maybe you guys don't know, that Above and Beyond just released their new album, Common Ground, this past month. And they're going on a tour. So I'll be going to their tour stop in Houston. And because of that, I wanted to do a little giveaway for you guys. So this is the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a pair of tickets for section 205, row H, seats nine and 10. 
So all you have to do to possibly win this pair of tickets is like my video, subscribe, and share it on any of your social medias. And when you do, shoot me a DM through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, it doesn't matter. Um, shoot me a DM with just like a screenshot that you did that and I will enter you into a raffle and I will randomly choose a winner for this show. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully for those that went to ABGT250, this video serves as a little memory for you guys of what an amazing event we, we experienced together. So as per usual, like, subscribe, and share, but only this time there's actually a really great reason to do it because you could possibly be the winner of two tickets to Above and Beyond's Common Ground Tour stop in Houston. <clears throat> wow. That was a lot to say. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for chatting with me, you guys. And stay tuned for another episode of Chats with Orly. See you guys.